Hey y'all, Farmer Dre back at it. It's another cold, misty day out on the farm, out here in the peach orchard. And today, I'm continuing the video series of asking your guys' questions. So you guys have any questions about our farming operation, what you guys want to know um, about different crops. Today's question is about peach trees. And someone commented, I have a four-year-old peach tree, and every spring there's ooze or gooey stuff coming out of, out of the trunk and out of the branches. Um, and today I'm gonna go in depth of what causes that and how you can solve those problems. So uh, if you guys have any questions about strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, apples, peaches, tomatoes, flowers, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below. I'm gonna do my best and with my opinion to answer those questions. So today it's all about peaches. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing is first, what is the ooze that comes out or what does that mean out of a peach tree? So the oozing is a peach telling you there is something that shouldn't belong, either a wound from tractors, humans, mechanical issues, that's or anything else, deer, if there's any marks on the trees or bark rip, ripped off, or any insect pressure or disease. So if there's anything wrong with the tree, the ooze on a peach tree is, is the tree itself telling you, hey, there is a problem here. And it's trying to push out the infection and trying to let you know that, hey, you got to resolve this problem before the disease, insect, or whatever it is tries to kill me. Um, and I've struggled with this issue on our farm over the years. And I'll get more into depth about what the, the trials I've gone through and what I've learned. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you as a perfect example what the oozing looks like here on our trees. Um, and um, what you can do to resolve those problems. Right here, these are three-year-old uh, peach trees. They did produce us a first crop this season. These are unpruned, so the season just finished. And I'm gonna try looking on our trees to see if I can find any of that oozing um, or any kind of damage. Uh, I'll have to look around here for a second. But yeah, these are uh, July Prince peaches. And uh, looks pretty good, they're about 10, 11 foot tall. They've done really nice. We had a really nice harvest off them this past spring. So, um, looks good. Find a perfect example. Here it is. This is the oozing. It looks like a little gummy. It's kind of slimy there. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but as you guys can see here, the reason why it's oozing out here, it looks like a tractor or something. This tree's on the end here, on the end row. Um, so it looks like a tractor or someone scraped here along here with something. So that's just the tree. Letting us know, hey, this there's damage to this limb. Um, so this is a perfect example. There's damage to that limb. So then the tree just oozes out there um, just like that. Thankfully, I don't have too much oozing issues. Uh, but yeah, there's a small example, right? I mentioned that oozing can be caused from physical damage to the tree. Um, it's most common when you, when you see like in that situation where something hit the branch or the limb. It tore off the skin and it's kind of oozing away. But a lot of times, if there's no damage to the tree itself, physically, you can't really tell. Then it's either two things. First thing is first is peach tree bore. And I'll get into the peach tree bore. Or it's a peach leaf curl. And peach leaf curl is a bacterial disease that lives in the skin. Over It overwinters in the skin. And in the spring, whenever it gets released, then it can cause the leaves of the peach tree to curl up and look really funky. So on the peach leaf curl, the best and easiest way to get rid of that is, is late winter, early spring, whenever the trees are still dormant, um, you want to spray them with a copper-based uh, fungicide just to try to kill off all of the bacteria that is left over on the limbs or on the skin itself so that it doesn't transport or doesn't enter into new season without um, affecting those new leaves. So a nice fungicide a copper a spray will get rid of that problem on the peach leaf curl um it's fairly easy we do it every single spring before the trees are budding out we go through there and spray uh copper on all our trees just to make sure there's no other in uh, bacteria that is left over from this season to the next season and if you don't spray the copper you're going to see your peach leaves midsummer start curling up and that's that bacteria that causes it to do that and that but that bacteria lives in your bark and it's been overwintered so just a basic copper spray will get rid of that. The other big thing, like I mentioned, is called peach tree borer. And peach tree borer is a little insect that uh, bores into your tree. The name says it all. And I struggled with this for the first couple of years on, of having peaches on our farm. So back in 2017, 2018, that's when we planted our first trees. Um, and we really didn't know what we were doing. 
um, and those peach tree borers came in here. So it's a moth that comes in, lays its eggs on the tree itself, and it falls into the soil. And those ha those eggs will hatch in the soil. And then whenever those little caterpillar-looking things come out, the borers, they get into your root system and into your bark, and they start uh, boring inside your tree. And you can never tell it's there if you don't really know what it looks like. And then that causes, the first thing you're going to see is that oozing from the bark of the trees. And then if you don't if you don't catch it in time, then it's going to go ahead and kill your tree. We lost about 10 or 12% of our baby trees the first couple of years when we had them because that peach tree board came in there and just killed the tree. Um, it killed the, the actual scion, so it killed the variety we wanted. Then a couple years later, more wild stuff came out of the root system because that root system is still alive. But those boars do do a lot of damage, and if you don't watch it carefully... Uh, then it can kill kill your whole tree. So like I said, the life cycle of that is in the summer, a moth, the moths come and lay its eggs, and then the eggs hatch in the dirt, and around the dirt, they, they whenever those eggs hatch, they get to the side and they start boring up in your tree. So the best way and the easiest way to prevent that is to keep the orchard rows, um, so the orchard um, next to the trees, nice and clean. So you can see, you can see the bare dirt there around the tree. There's a little bit of green a winter weeds growing but the easiest way is to keep absolutely no weeds no tall weeds growing around the base of the trees just that's the easiest way to prevent those actual uh the the the, um, the extra hatching and from the moss to come in um but if you do have uh, the problem of the insects coming in and hatching then you gotta um, look on uh, what your state is rated and use a, a insecticide spray to spray the base of the tree so you every single uh spring uh, we come in here and we spray the base the trunks of the trees and about two foot of the limbs on each individual tree just as a preventative because if those boars get into your tree um then it, they do really bad damage really fast so like i said if you see that oozing there's some some probably going on um like i mentioned we on our farm we we spray that copper every single year for the peach leaf curl we come through here and spray for the every the trunks of the trees for that uh, peach borer. Um, and like I said, that oozing is just a sign. The peach tree is, tell, is letting you know there's something wrong with it. So then you got to figure out what it is. Our farm, we fight Johnson grass pretty badly. And here's a perfect example. You don't want this next to a peach tree. That is Johnson grass that we never got killed in time. Um, and it just grew super tall. Um, so this tree has a bigger chance of getting the peach tree borer if you want to maintain it compared to that tree just because that tree is clean and this tree is not clean so make sure all debris all grass everything is super clean um don't mulch your peach trees just bare dirt and the trunk of the tree uh to prevent that from happening we have a few peach trees you want the tree bark to look really nice and healthy and clean really bright color um and if you guys didn't know peaches produce their fruit on first rolled wood so the wood that grew this season will produce as a crop next year so you always need a renewal of, of, of limb wood, of bud wood to keep on growing. Um, so you can see here, this limb right here produce, is going to produce this nice, beautiful peaches in next spring. It grew this season. Nice, healthy, nice color, beautiful uh, bark color. Um, so that's what you want to see. Like I mentioned about the oozing. If you see oozing, there's something wrong with the tree. You got to figure it out. So like I mentioned, peach, peach leaf curl, bacteria that lives inside the, inside the limbs. Or the peach tree borer that is an insect you got to take care of um, and like I mentioned on our farm we kind of until we found out about it and learned about it we did lose a few trees to it but hey that's part of the learning process and continue to grow now I can share with you guys my experience and continue on to grow some beautiful beautiful peaches here on our farm and keep the trees nice and healthy yeah that's gonna be it for today if you guys like this video go ahead and smash that like button if you guys have any questions or comments go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below and I'm going to try to dedicate a full video to one of you guys' questions. If you guys have a genuine question that you, I can answer. And like I mentioned, these are just my experiences, my opinions on how to do things. Um, I don't know everything, but what I do know, I put into action here on our farm. And it works out pretty good. So if you guys have any questions, comment them down in the comment section below. This is going to be it for today. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and check out FarmerDraceSupply.com. That's where you're able to find all your gardening and greenhouse needs from tomato plants, from seeds to fertilizers to irrigation systems like always go and check it out link is down in the description box below all right that's me it for today if you guys haven't already go and hit that subscribe button smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever i do upload a video i want to say thanks for watching up to this point 
Y'all have a good day, and we will see you next time.